हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट क्लास आई वाज डिस्कसिंग टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट सेल्स एक्चुअली आई एम डिस्कसिंग स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर पार्ट टू मीन्स लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड स्टेट्स अंडर दैट लिक्विड स्टेट आई हैव फिनिश्ड एंड सॉलिड स्टेट्स आई हैव स्टार्टेड अंडर दैट टाइप ऑफ यूनिट सेल्स आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट सेल यूनिट सेल्स आई हैव डिस्कस्ड एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिंपल सिंपल यूनिट सेल फेस सेंटर्ड यूनिट सेल एंड फेस सेंटर्ड यूनिट सेल एंड बॉडी सेंटर्ड यूनिट सेल आई हैव डिस्कस्ड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ क्रिस्टल सिस्टम्स देयर एक्सीएल रेशियोज एंड एंगल्स एंड यूनिट सेल्स दीज आई विल डिस्कस टूडे Again, I am telling you types of crystal system, axial ratios, axial angles, unit cells. These things today I am going to discuss. These are very very important. Actually, there are seven crystal systems. Total seven crystal system. as for example cubic system second one is tetragonal third one is rhombic also called orthorhombic fourth one is monoclinic fifth one is triclinic sixth one is trigonal or rhombo hedral and seventh one is hexagonal actually you should understand that crystal may be of different form different form then there are seven forms that seven forms are called system systems then these are called crystal system means in each crystal in in each crystal in each crystal dip uh, atoms may be arranged in different way atoms or ions atom or ions may be arranged in different way then total seven systems are there total seven system and in each system arrangement is different correct just like you are construct constructing building correct then uh, now you can make building in different form in different structure then now one by one i will discuss all seven first system is cubic cubic you might have seen the cubic structure that is the first type and second type i told you tetragonal tetra means four okay third type i told you rhombic also called orthorhombic fourth monoclinic fifth triclinic sixth trigonal or rhombohedral and seventh is hexagonal now i will tell axial axial ratios axial angles then uh, here in cubic first system cubic here if you will see then you will find that you know that length breadth height always you have to consider in each crystal length height 
length, breadth, height, three things we have to consider. What are their length? X-axis, Y-axis, Z-axis. Or also you can tell X on X-axis, suppose length is A centimeter and uh, breadth is B centimeter. Correct? And height is C. Simply you can consider on X uh, on X axis, you can say length you can consider as A, breadth as B, height as C or depth, whatever anyone, height or depth anyone you can consider. Then now these are actually axis. Then what are their ratio? Each all length, breadth or height, height are same. Then yes, in cubic, in cube you know, length, breadth, height, all are equal. Means A is equal to B, B is equal to C. This is called axial ratio. A is equal to B, B is equal to C. Means length, breadth, height, all are equal. Okay, length, breadth, height, all are equal. Now, what are their angles? Their angles between the two, suppose uh, A and B, length and breadth. Just to consider cube. Always you consider that structure in three-dimensional space. Correct? Then you can understand very easily. No problem will be there. Then just to cube, you just to consider cube, correct? Then uh, that also you think that it is a transparent, just to imagine. Then what will be the angle A between A and B or B and C, correct? In some uh, angle will be there. Then that angle I am telling you, all three angles, three angles will be there, correct? Then angle you can consider, three angles you can consider as alpha, beta or gamma. Then <clears throat> here you will find alpha angle and beta angle or gamma angle. All angles are equal, that is 90 degree. 90 degree correct angle always for the angle two axes is two axes is required x and y correct x and y y and z a and x but any two is required then angle is for each for each angle you consider alpha beta gamma then here all angles are equal that is 90 degree then axial angles are alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree. Now unit sales, it is also called Brebhaeus lattices. Unit cell is called lattices and in the name of scientist it is called Brebhaeus lattice. B R A B A I S. Brabhais lattice. Then in this uh, cubic, cubic system, cubic crystal system, in that, uh, how many types of four cell I have told you? That four different types of, uh, different types of unit cell I told you. Then here, in cubic crystal system, how many unit cells you will find then here you will find three unit cells you will find under cubic crystal system what are that three then simple simple second face centered and third body centered three unit cell you will find in cubic crystal system, first system, three. Simple, face-centered, 
and body centered these three type of unit cell you will find under cubic okay now second tetrahedral a uh, tetragonal tetragonal then here tetragonal means here a and b will be equal but b and c is not equal a is equal to b but b is not equal to c that situation is called tetragonal you remember uh, all seven condition you have to keep in mind and that is, that is actually easily you can understand that uh, it is not uh, necessary that all you can say length will be equal a b and c all will be equal it is not necessary and all angles will be equal that also not necessary that's why seven system created okay seven possible system created okay then in tetragonal a and b is equal a is equal to b but b is not equal to c this is the condition angle but angle will be all angle will be the 90 degree alpha is equal to beta beta is equal to gamma that is equal to 90 degree just you, only cube structure you understand and that you can think that now b and c is not equal correct a and b is equal but b and c is not equal correct but angle is 90 degree it is possible angle is 90 degree but length may be different then a two lengths are equal a is equal to b but b is not equal to c but all three angles are equal that is equal to 90 degree means alpha is equal to beta beta is equal to gamma gamma is equal to 90 degree and in this case in case of tetragonal crystal crystal system you will find two types of unit cell two types in first case it was three type in this case two types what are that two types simple and body centered simple and body centered correct in first case cubic it was 3 now here it is 2 now come to the third third system third crystal system here here you will find here you will find all a b and c are not equal a b and c all three are not equal a is not equal to b b is not equal to c this is the main condition third third i told you rhombic cubic already told you tetragonal i told you rhombic or orthorhombic in both in this cases both are same either you tell rhombic or rhombic or orthorhombic both are rhombic then here a is not equal to b b is not equal to c length breadth height all are different and uh, here again all angles are 90 degree correct only lengths all lengths are length breadth heights are not equal but angles are 90 degree means alpha is equal to beta beta is equal to gamma gamma is equal to 90 degree and here you will find all four unit cells how many unit cells are possible here then all four means a simple second face centered third end centered and fourth body centered all four are possible there you have seen in first case three unit cells were present was possible and in tetragonal two but here four then now 
all three if will include then how many total cell then 3 plus 2 plus 4 5 and 5 plus 4 9 correct including three system now fourth system that is a monoclinic here again all lengths are not equal just like third fourth one monoclinic here also all lengths are not equal a is not equal to b b is not equal to c and here only two angles are equal alpha and alpha and gamma both are equal but beta is not equal alpha and gamma both are 90 degree but beta is not 90 degree correct two angles are equal alpha and gamma are 90 degree alpha angle of uh, angle of alpha angle of gamma both are 90 degree but beta is not 90 degree correct then here from here you are finding change that only two angles are 90 degree alpha and gamma beta is not 90 degree and in this case only two unit cell you will find that is the simple simple and end centered then now 9 plus 2 11 total now it became 11 and next that is the fifth one that is the triclinic here you will find again all three lengths are not equal a is not equal to b b is not equal to c and angle all angles are different all angles are different correct means alpha is not equal to beta beta is not equal to gamma Ga and uh, gamma is not equal to 90 degree means no angles are 90 degree all are different in this case you are finding only one unit cell that is the simple now sixth one sixth one Trigon trigonal or rhombohedral. Sixth one is trigonal or rhombohedral. Here, what you will find about the length, all are equal. All A, B, and C, all are equal. A is equal to B, B is equal to C, but angle. Angle you will find that uh, uh, all angles are equal, but not ninety degree. Correct. Here alpha is equal to beta, beta is equal to gamma, but gamma is not equal to ninety degree. You remember alpha, beta, gamma, all are equal. But not ninety degree. Not ninety degree. Correct. Alpha is equal to beta. Beta is equal to gamma. But angles are all angles are not ninety degree. And in this case, you will find how many this cell uh, unit cell. Then only one. Simple. Simple. Correct. Then now uh, one more last hexagonal crystal system. Here again, what you will find that A and B are equal, but B is not equal to C. Okay, A is equal to B. and b is not equal to c correct this is the condition a is equal to b but b is not equal to c correct and uh, 
sometimes it may be equal also sometimes may be equal also but not necessary may or may not be then a is equal to b and b is not equal to c angle then here two angles are 90 degree angle alpha angle beta both are 90 degree and angle gamma is 120 degree gamma is 120 degree and in this case only one only one uh, unit cell is found that is the simple then now all unit cell if you will count then total will become 14 first case i told you 3 second case 2 3 2 5 3 third case 4 then 5 plus 4 9 and after that 2 in monoclinic 2 then 9 plus 2 11 and last three all are one one only simple 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 then 11 plus 3 14 correct then here in all there are seven crystal systems and 14 brabhais lattice also called unit cell question is asked now next term i am going to discuss law of constancy of interfacial angles law of constancy of interfacial angles what is this law of constancy law of constancy of interfacial angles just to listen the angles between the corresponding faces of a crystal called interfacial angles face also one face other face between the two face again some angle may be there correct one face other face between the two face again angle will be there that face that is actually called interfacial angle okay now we listen again the angles between the corresponding faces of a crystals are always the same irrespective of the size and external shape of the crystal size may be a small size big size angle will be 90 degree correct angle because you are you will see for count from the point the beginning then size may be big size may be small but just uh, angle will be same as for example 30 degree now just you, if you will open the you can say notebook first cover first you open then now between the cover and page suppose you are not changing then one angle they will make then that that type of things may be a small may be big but angle will be 30 degree correct if you call because they will meet finally in one point there it will be 30 degree only like that way two faces what are the angles that is called interfacial angles then it will be same irrespective of size and external shape of the crystals inside you will find only that type of angle okay that is called actually law of constancy constant because angle is same that's why word constancy is used now the interfacial angles next course things i am telling you very very important question is asked the interfacial angles are measured with the help of an instrument called goni goniometer remember question is asked the interfacial angles are measured with the help of an instrument called 
गोनियोमीटर जी ओ एन आई ओ गोनियो मीटर नाओ नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आई एम डिस्कसिंग ओके इट्स डिटेल्स ऑलरेडी आई डिस्कस इन द क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेज मीन एलेवेंथ क्लासेज वेन आई वाज डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल्स हियर ओनली आई एम रिव्यूइंग ओके देन नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पर यूनिट सेल दिस क्वेश्चन आर देयर थ्री फोर फोर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड फाइव यू कैन टेल फाइव क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड अंडर दिस नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पर यूनिट सेल इन वन यूनिट सेल हाउ मेनी पार्टिकल्स विल यू देयर हेयर पार्टिकल्स में भी एटम पार्टिकल्स में भी आयंस के यू रिमेंबर देन नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पर यूनिट सेल देन फाइव क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड ऑल फाइव यू कीप इन माइंड ओके एक्सप्लानशन इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द बेसिक क्लासेस नाउ व्हाट आर द क्वेश्चन आज डायरेक्टली आई एम कमिंग टू दैट पॉइंट कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द कॉर्नर कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम जस लाइक यू यू मे कंट्रीब्यूट इन सो मेनी थिंग्स ये वन पर्सन कैन गिव कंट्रीब्यूशन इन सो मेनी थिंग्स करेक्ट इन सो मेनी वेज यू कैन कंट्रीब्यूट लाइक दैट वे ईच एटम ईच कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द कॉर्नर दैट इज कल टू वन अपॉन एट वन अपॉन एट करेक्ट इट मीन्स इट इज इन्वॉल्व अराउंड एट करेक्ट देन ऑन ईच साइड इट्स कंट्रीब्यूशन विल बी वन अपॉन एट करेक्ट वन इज हेल्पिंग टू एट परसेंट टोटल एट देन वाट इज कंट्रीब्यूशन फॉर दैट वन अपॉन एट कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द कॉर्नर दैट इज वन अपॉन एट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड डायरेक्ट दिस क्वेश्चन इज ओनली आस्ड वन अपॉन एट ओके कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द कॉर्नर नाउ सेकेंड क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ड कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द फेस देन ओनली वन अपॉन टू क्वाज इट इज इन्वॉल्व ओनली इन टू फेस देन टू हाफ हाफ वन अपॉन टू करेक्ट इट इज इन्वॉल्विंग टू फेस दैट इज द हाफ फिफ्टी फिफ्टी बट इन द फर्स्ट केस इट वॉज इन्वॉल्विंग विथ एट दैट्स वाई वन अपॉन एट नाउ थर्ड क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ड कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एन एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द एज एज करेक्ट एज यू नो दैट इज एनी जस्ट लाइक यू कैन से क्यूब क्यूब वन एज लेंथ कंप्लीट लेंथ वन पॉइंट टू द अदर पॉइंट दैट इज एज ओके देन यू हैव टू कंसिडर दैट कंप्लीट लेंथ और ब्रेथ वॉट एवर बी देन हेयर कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एन एटम एन एटम प्रजेंट ऑन द एज दैट इज कल टू वन अपॉन फोर्थ बिकॉज ऑन द एज टू एटम विल बी देयर टू एटम विल बी देयर करेक्ट इन इच एज टू एटम विल बी देयर देन हेयर कंट्रीब्यूशन विल बी वन अपॉन फोर्थ वन अपॉन फोर्थ नाउ थर्ड क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ड कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम विद इन द बॉडी देन विद इन द बॉडी ओनली वन एटम विल बी देयर और वन आइन विल बी देयर हेन्स इज कंट्रीब्यूशन विल बी ओनली वन कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ईच एटम विद इन द बॉडी इज वन इज इक्वल टू वन करेक्ट एंड फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन विच इज आज 
that is eg number of atoms present in the simple unit cell number of atoms present in the simple unit cell then 1 upon 8 into 8 because <coughs> contribution is contribution is 1 8 then in 8 how many will be there into 8 number of atoms present in the simple unit cell 1 upon 8 into 8 correct because for each uh, for each contribution is each, each contribution is 1 upon 8 then for the 8 how many contribution for the 8 then 1 upon 8 into 8 that is the 1 then these five questions are asked in examination number of atoms present in the next i am telling you number of two questions are again uh, it is asked i am telling you now number of atoms present is face centered unit cell face centered unit cell then here will be again two parts you have to consider two parts you have to consider first from corners and second from face centered and then you add it correct it is the sum of contribution from corners plus contribution from face centered then you know that contribution from corners contribution from corners is 1 upon 8 into 8 correct plus from the face centered then One half into six, because six faces are there total. Then one half into six. Then one upon eight into eight. That is the one plus one upon two into six means three. Then one plus three total four. The number of atoms present in the face centered unit cell. Face centered. Remember. Question is asked. Then that is the one plus three. That is the four. Again, telling I am telling you one upon eight into eight from corners, from corners plus half into six from face centers. Then total will become four. Because one upon eight into eight one plus one upon two into six two into three it will cancel three. Three plus one four. Like that way, number of atoms present in the body-centered unit cell. Body-centered. Okay. After the face-centered, body-centered unit cell. There again, you have to consider in two. Uh, from it is a sum of two. That is from corners and from the body center. Then again, same way from the corners. One upon eight into eight from corners, plus body center. How much? Only one. Then one upon eight into eight. That is the one. This is from corner, and from the body center one. That is total two. Total two. Then this five plus two seven question are related to number of particles per unit cell is asked. Okay. Now next. Uh, term i am going to discuss coordination number coordination number then what is actually coordination number it is easy to understand coordination number of any particles is the number of its closest neighbors how many neighbors are with you where you are staying nearest neighbor how many there maybe one or two Don't count yourself. Okay, your neighbor may be left side, right side. Uh, one, maybe three, maybe maybe four, maybe one also. Generally, one side there will be no neighbor because that will be the way. Three year, three year possible back side, left side, right side. Then here same way you have to understand 
because one atom will react with other atom will make bond with other then how many you can say neighboring atoms are there that is a number of bond also you can tell then coordination number of any particle of any particle is the number of its closest neighbors that is the oppositely charged ions in an ionic crystal okay that is the i told you then the number of closest neighbors oppositely that is the oppositely charged ions oppositely charged ions in an ionic crystal now i am telling you types of structure means in coordination number in simple way number of closest neighbors that is the oppositely charged ions in an ionic crystal now types of structure possessed by simple ionic compounds simple example of simple ionic compounds that is the a b a and b correct only one only one you can say never is there only one oppositely charged a is positive charge then b is negative charge that is called ab type ab type then example is rock salt okay ab type example is rock salt nacl nacl type structure second example is cesium chloride cesium chloride cscl type structure and third that is the zinc blend zns type structure then now these three types are there under ab under ab type there are three because in that also there will be difference okay it looks like ab it will be ab only ab structure but type are like nacl type cscl type cesium chloride third zns means zinc blend type structure under the ab under the ab three types are there nacl sodium chloride cesium chloride zinc blend or zinc sulfide zns three types now what are the feature of uh, all three means uh, nacl cscl zns three i told you then all three have a special feature then first i will tell about the nacl feature of main feature of nacl type structure under the ab three types are example i told you now see main feature of nacl type structure there are four features first it has fcc arrangement of ions f c c face centered cubic okay its arrangement will be like face centered f c c arrangement of ions maybe cation maybe anion but it will be face centered okay face centered cubic arrangement second a feature in a plus c l ions have Six six coordination means N A can join in. You have to consider direction. Okay, direction in a space you can see that uh, one sodium atom that you have seen that uh, one one atom can uh, contribute to the eight atoms like that way. Here you have to think in three dimension. I mean a space you. three dimensional space you have to consider in a one na can contribute to six and cl also can contribute to six then na plus and cl minus ions have six six coordination this is the second third third feature each unit cell each unit cell has four nacl units correct each unit cell 
यू इन ईच यूनिट सेल देयर विल बी फोर एन ए सी एल दे नाउ यू हैव सीन टोटल एट एन ए सी एल एन ए सी एल एन ए सी एल फोर एन ए सी एल विल बी प्रजेंट इन वन यूनिट सेल करेक्ट यू रिमेंबर नॉट ओनली टू नॉट ओनली टू फोर एन ए सी एल वी विल बी प्रजेंट ओके इन इन ईच यूनिट सेल ईच यूनिट सेल ईच यूनिट सेल हैज फोर एन ए सी एल यूनिट्स ओके ईच यूनिट सेल यू रिमेंबर ईच यूनिट सेल्स हैज फोर एन ए सी एल यूनिट्स एग्जाम्पल्स आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट इज यू कैन कंसिडर एज ए फोर्थ फीचर एग्जाम्पल्स हेलाइट्स हेलाइट्स ऑफ अल्कली मेटल्स वन एग्जाम्पल करेक्ट ऑक्साइड्स एंड सल्फाइड्स ऑफ अल्कलाइन अर्थ मेटल्स हेलाइट्स ऑफ हेलाइट्स ऑफ सिल्वर हे अगेन एक्सेप्शन इज देयर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एग्जाम्पल्स हेलाइट्स आई टोल्ड यू हेलाइट्स ऑफ अल्कली मेटल्स एन हेलाइट्स मीन्स वाट सोडियम क्लोराइड पोटासियम क्लोराइड और सोडियम क्लो सोडियम क्लोराइड सोडियम ब्रोमाइड सोडियम आयोडाइड लाइक दैट वे क्लोराइड क्लोराइड ब्रोमाइड आयोडाइड दैट इज कॉल्ड हेलाइड बट हेयर एक्सेप्शन इज देयर क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड ओनली एक्सेप्शन देन सीडियम सीजियम इज इन एक्सेप्शन ओके एट एज एटम सीजियम यू कांट कंसिडर हेयर सीजियम देन हेलाइट्स ऑफ अल्कली मेटल्स देन इन अल्कली मेटल्स सी जी एम इज ए इन एक्सेप्शन यू शुड नॉट काउंट इट इज नॉट काउंटेड नाउ एन अदर एग्जाम्पल्स दैट इज ऑफ अमोनियम अमोनियम क्लोराइड अमोनियम ब्रोमाइड अमोनियम आयोडाइड दैट इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एन ए सी एल टाइप स्ट्रक्चर सी अमोनियम क्लोराइड एन एच फोर सी एल इट इज जस्ट लाइक एन ए सी एल नाउ ऑक्साइड्स सोडियम ऑक्साइड पोटासियम ऑक्साइड कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड करेक्ट दीज आर द ऑल्सो जस्ट लाइक ए एन ए सी एल टाइप एंड अदर एग्जाम्पल इज सल्फाइड्स सोडियम सल्फाइड पोटासियम सल्फाइड कैल्शियम सल्फाइड लाइक दैट वे ऑल आर एन ए सी एल टाइप स्ट्रक्चर एंड हेयर सल्फाइड्स ऑफ अल्कलाइन अर्थ सल्फाइड सल्फाइड्स ऑफ अल्कलाइन आई कै हेयर यू हैव टू कंसिडर सल्फाइड यू नॉट इन अल्कली अल्कलाइन यू हैव टू कंसिडर अल्कलाइन दैट इज अ मीन्स ग्रुप टू मेटल यू हैव टू कंसिडर एक्सेप्शन इज बेरिलियम बेरिलियम यू शुड नॉट काउंट बी ई एस नॉट डोंट काउंट एक्सेप्ट बी ई एस ऑल यू कैन काउंट एग्जाम्पल इज आज क्वेश्चन इज आज एंड सिल्वर हेलाइड देन सिल्वर क्लोराइड सिल्वर ब्रोमाइड यू कैन काउंट बट आयोडाइड यू कांट काउंट सिल्वर आयोडाइड दिस इज द एक्सेप्शन सिल्वर आयोडाइड इज नॉट काउंटेड ओके दिज एक्सेप्शन क्वेश्चन यू शुड बी केयरफुल बिकॉज ओनली दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ड नाउ लास्ट टू डेज लास्ट दैट थिंग्स आई एम डिस्कसिंग मेन फीचर ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड टाइप स्ट्रक्चर सीजियम क्लोराइड टाइप स्ट्रक्चर ओके देन आई टोल्ड यू दैट एन ए ऑल आर ए बी टाइप बट अंडर ए पी टाइप थ्री टाइप्स आई टोल्ड यू एन ए सी एल सी एच सी एल इन सीजियम क्लोराइड जिंक ब्लैंड मीन्स जेड एन एस देन नाउ सेकेंड एंड थर्ड आई विल टेल बट नाउ टूडे ओनली सेकेंड आई विल टेल मेन फीचर ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड टाइप देन सी द डिफ्रेंसेज दिस एन ए सी एल एंड दिस डिफ्रेंसेज यू कैन सी ऑल्सो देन एन ए सी एल यू हैव सीन इट वॉज एफ सी सी अरेंजमेंट ऑफ आयर बट हेयर इन सीजियम क्लोराइड इट हैज बी सी सी अरेंजमेंट बी सी सी अरेंजमेंट ओके 
body centered that is called body centered cube bcc arrangement but in nsl it was fcc arrangement and second feature of cesium chloride cesium and chloride ions have eight eight coordination eight eight coordination this is the difference in nsl was having six six coordination it was making with six bond nearest but here it is making with eight 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 is to eight cesium also with eight chloride also with eight that's why eight is to eight coordination this is the difference now next i am telling you next feature each unit cell has only one cesium chloride unit only one cesium chloride unit under the one unit cell okay each unit cell has only one cesium chloride unit cell cscl but there you have seen four was there now its example i am telling you cesium chloride type then uh, here example is cesium bromide cesium iodide cesium cyanide okay thallium chloride thallium bromide titanium iodide titanium cyanide cn then these are the example of uh, cesium chloride type crystal okay again example i am telling you cesium bromide cesium iodide cesium cyanide and uh, titanium chloride titanium bromide titanium and uh, th no, thallium chloride thallium bromide titanium iodide and titanium cyanide these are the examples question is asked then today i am stopping only here next class uh, uh, zinc blend that uh, that type of structure correct main feature i will tell another other terms i will discuss thank you